Today on Berlin Builds, I'm gonna show you how you can do an inside corner in one of these bay windows. It can be intimidating at first. If you use inside miters, it's gonna be a lot harder, but I'm gonna show you a trick where you're using 46 degree angles to make these look really good. On these inside corners, on these bay windows, what you can do, instead of doing an inside miter that kind of opens up at the bottom, you can actually cut two 45s. They're gonna go like this and like this. The only problem with 45s is they don't always fit perfect. So normally what I'll do is I'll cut a 46 degree angle and I found this to be a tighter fit. So when you get those in there, see how tight you can make that joint right there where it doesn't open up or when you nail it on, it makes it so it's easier if this starts to flare into the bottom to make this look nice and tight. And it makes it a lot easier for the painter. The trick though, is not all saws can cut a 46 degree angle when you're cutting eight inch tall base. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that. On a miter saw, you can bevel your saw. That's where you tip the saw. And now if you come over on this side, what you'll see is the saw, it has all these different angles, right? But it'll go up to 45, and that's where it maxes out. You can't go beyond 45. So the question is, how do you cut a 46 degree angle? Well, the way that you do it is you actually cut it at 44. And let me show you the math on how that works. All right, so now we have our workpiece here, set in face down on my saw. And we kind of look at this again, right? We're gonna be cutting something like this. And I know right now that this is a 44 degree angle right here, if I cut that. And now it'll make this a 44 degree angle here. But when you flip this and make this, you know, your 90 degrees right here and your 90 degrees right here, it makes it so that this one is 46 and it's gonna make it so that this one is 46. So that's how we're gonna make it so that we're cutting this angle at a 46 degree angle. Now I'm gonna show you how it fits on this end. So we already have this piece at 46. And now we're gonna take this one and slide up next to it. And see how nice and clean of an angle we get? It works out just nice. And that's how you get a 46 degree angle off of your miter saw. Thanks so much for watching today. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments below, as well as any good dad jokes. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this, as well as hit the like button because that's the cool thing to do. Thanks, bye.